Hello, and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about five things you can do with the new ADT block in Helix 3.15. first thing you can do with the ADT might seem obvious, and that's a double tracking effect. I say that should be obvious because I think ADT stands for Analog Double Tracker or something like that. I'm just guessing. They don't actually say in the release notes. Uh, let me know in the comments if you find somewhere official where they explain what that acronym means. At any rate, double tracking is when you record the same part twice so that you can layer them together. And that stacking effect, the, the minor inconsistencies in dynamics and pitch uh, stack up. They add together and create a thicker, fuller sound that can be desirable and can help your part jump out in a mix. For this effect, we leave the deck one time at zero milliseconds and set deck two to somewhere less than about 50 milliseconds. You can play around with the wow and flutter settings to taste, but for this application, we're going to be gentle with that. Another setting to play with for this application is the deck two polarity. At this level of delay, inverting the polarity of deck two can create a kind of spacious small reverb effect. As a bonus, if you increase the delay time on deck two, you can get kind of a cool slapback echo type effect that works well with the inverted polarity. The second thing you can do with the ADT, which is much less obvious, is to get an overdrive effect. Now reel-to-reel -reel tape machines, just like an amp, have a limited amount of headroom, and turning up the saturation control is akin to turning up the drive on your amp. For this effect, we leave both delay times at zero, and we crank up the saturation controls. Now this is an extreme example, and from my playing around, the distortion you get at high levels of saturation from the ADT can be pretty harsh. But to combat this, you have two options. The first is the high cut control. Now feel free to roll this way back to 5K even if your ears tell you to. The second tactic we have is putting the effect before an amp instead of after. This is kind of doing the same thing because any cab or IR will be rolling off a lot above 5K as well. I encourage you to experiment with the saturation and the high cut controls to get something that sounds good to you with your guitar and amp combination.
The third thing you can do with the ADT, I'm calling trash. And this is kind of a lo-fi effect, um, something that you might use for a tonal changeup on like an intro riff or an interlude or something like that. For this trash setting, we set the delay times to zero and invert the polarity of deck two. What happens now is the tape decks are mostly aligned and because of the polarity flip, nearly all of the signal is getting canceled out. You can control how much canceling is happening via the deck volume controls. Backing off the deck two volume will result in less cancellation and less of an effect. The fourth thing you can do with the ADT is create a stereo chorus effect. Now there's a few different ways you could do this, but we're going to utilize a parallel path. Splitting our signal allows us to utilize both delay times and mix that in with our dry signal. Generous amounts of wow and flutter can be dialed in here. Play with the tape speed, rate, and depth controls. Those will all affect the thickness and speed of the chorusing coming from deck two. <laughs> Our fifth and final way to use the ADT is as a flanger, and this one is almost too easy. You may have stumbled on it by accident. Basically, any delay difference between the two decks and even a generous amount of wow and flutter, which is doing the same thing just sort of randomly, will create a flanging effect. Play around with the delay times and the deck volumes to dial in more or less of this effect or to change the character of it. You can also flip the deck two polarity for some interesting and a little more aggressive effect as well. Well, that's it. Those are five things you can do with the ADT block in the Helix 3.15 update. All the presets I created for this video are available for download for free. Check the description below. And let me know in the comments if you tried out any of them and which ones you liked. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if it sounds good, it is good. <laughs>